I'm Mike Morosky, and I'm running for city council. My past 12 years have been spent, as Dan said, in education. I was a classroom teacher and an administrator, and I founded a service learning group at Moeller High School. I was there bridging gaps between students at Moeller and residents of Over the Rhine. In that time, I worked with Restock, now Over the Rhine Community Housing, and led rehab crews on two buildings on Republic Street for affordable housing. Through that work, I uh, was asked to join the board of the Drop-In Center and served on the Drop-In Center board for two years. Uh, throughout that same period, as Dan pointed out, we no longer have the coffee shop on Elm Street. It's now senior affordable housing. But a program that was begun at Choices Cafe called the HELP Program it still exists in East Walnut Hills and works with folks returning from the prison system with felony convictions to get them gainfully employed. We currently have about 350 young men and women in that program. So near the end of my nonprofit career, not the end, but I had to put some, a lot aside so I could make this run. I was asked to be a founding board member of Wordplay Cincy, which is a not-for-profit, educationally based in the north side that works with underprivileged children in underserved schools to bring them to grade appropriate reading level by grade three. All that said, that's what brought me to this place. I decided I wanted to run for city council for a number of reasons, issues of affordable housing that I learned a lot about from a lot of the people that are sitting in this room and some that have moved on or passed on. Uh, really got my interest in staying in the city after I graduated from Xavier. Working with the folks in the HELP program with the felony convictions really started sending me to City Hall more and seeing how laws were regulated to hold certain people in our community back. Regarding silo, uh, I've always been interested in visitability and accessibility ordinances. Thankfully, the city had a visitability task force last year, but the, the document never made it to council chambers. I fully intend to bring it to council chambers and to help push it through after the November 5th elections. To me, you know, when I talk about affordable housing and issues of accessibility, I talk about them uh, under the umbrella of economic morality. That being, for, for me personally, affordable housing issues and accessibility issues are a moral issue. I realize not for everybody that's the case. And somewhere in my early 20s, I stopped expecting everyone to feel morally the same way I do about everything. But economically, if more people are housed and more people are employed, we can put more back into the economy. Visibility and accessibility wise, in 17 short years, 35% of our city's population will be over the age of 60. Currently, State of Ohio Building Code does not require that buildings and new builds are accessible, but we can offer incentives similar to the city of Toledo to make sure that that's the case. And lastly, City of Cincinnati currently has one accessible cab. Hamilton County has federal $53.10 that can be utilized for accessible transportation, but the city needs to bring a proposal to Hamilton County to unlock those dollars so that, again, people aren't trapped into their home once they reach a certain age. So once again, Mike Morosky, uh, ask for your vote on November 5th. Thank you.